is the same situation. Obama's very charismatic. He came across as authentic. And that's why whenever I tell Austin about shit that Obama did, he doesn't believe me. And he's like, I don't care. I still like him. I still don't believe Tim Walls has that capacity as well. So a lot of that oppa won't stick on him regardless. <laughs> No, it's not time yet. You can sit down if you want. Like they don't like it when I when I get multiple PJs off of like all of the top of the hour ad breaks that I serve, where I tell you that if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for five dollars or for free with Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. <clears throat> it's been a long time. It's been a long time. I am alive. I know there has been a lot of skeptics out there that said that I was dead, but it's not true. I actually did get COVID. What's good? Uh, who is that? Who is that? No, I don't still. Oh have my it. God! March walked in and Austin said, "Who is that?" No, I didn't. Without see. even a shred of no. like, I, I wish Marsh. it was fake. Marsh. I wish what just occurred. I didn't see who it was. You was, waved to somebody, and I I turned around and I was like, "Who was?" He did literally you forgot what March no, looks that's like, not bro. True. You know, it's not like, true. did you did you also did you see Murad and think that it, it, he was me? No, I, I, I remember who everybody was. Look, I've been gone for a little bit. I was supposed to be back last weekend, but I missed a flight. I didn't miss a flight. My flight got canceled, and I got stuck, and now I'm a Republican. Yeah. No, but uh, look, the last time we were all together, Joe Biden was still the president. The well, he's still the president, but like he was still the candidate of the party, and I just want to say... You think there's a coincidence? My dis me leaving to go, you know, and then Joe Biden dropping out. I may have made a few phone calls. I'm not going to say that it was because of me. A lot of people saying it's Pelosi, but I just want to say the coincidence is a little bit too close of a coincidence. Um, but I got the news on a plane. I was actually on a plane at the time, and um, I have a story about a plane. Actually, should I save it for the podcast? Save it for the pod, man. But dude, it's so he's so back. Bro. Oh. He's so back. He's got he's got plane stories I got and plane everything. Stories, man. It was bad. It would happen today. That's I'm, crazy. I, I, well, I can't even tell you. Okay. Well, I'll give you a hint. I almost got in a fight on a plane today. That'll be the hint. And I, yeah, but I didn't. It, well, anyway, I Save may have. Save it for the pod. Yeah, Sorry. we're never hearing it. No, okay. don't worry. He's gonna be on the podcast. Yeah, I'll be on the podcast. It wasn't, yeah. no, it was It was actually anti Karen. I wasn't the Karen this time, okay? Okay. Um, Speaking of Karens, yep. uh, Donald Trump's plane had to do a landing. Yeah. Did you hear about this? No, this is tell plane me. related. Angry plane call nearly two. He has helicopter trip records and threatens to sue. So he's, he's so mad. Former President Donald J. Trump on Friday afternoon vehemently maintained that he had one, once been in a dangerous helicopter landing with Willie Brown the former mayor of San Francisco, and insisted he had records to prove it, despite Mr. Brown's denial. In an angry phone call to the New York Times reporter as he <laughs> landed several hours away from his plane rally in Bozeman, Montana because of mechanical <laughs> issues on his plane, Mr. Trump excruciated the Times for its coverage of his meandering news conference. Oh, my God. They wrote meandering, bro. Uh, it was a meandering Oh, we're one. so back. Uh, we are so back to, like, 2016. Or not even... Is This is, like, 20... I would say this is like 2019. Yeah. Like 2019. Saying meandering news conference in like a objective article is what is supposed to be like an objective news piece is is very whoo, is very 2019 coded. They're like they're they're ready. Excoriated, not excruciated, sorry. Bro, I know Maggie that. Haberman is not objective. Yeah. I don't even know what that word means. Anyway. Well, context is, uh, probably means like he was lambasting people. He was like, You just angry. used another word to describe. He was angry. He was like ripping into it. Lambasting. Him. Okay. All right. You just used a word to describe a word. <laughs> I didn't know. I joined the, I represent the American public for the, by the way. I just want to let no, you know. We're, we're going to do the Brazil thing on the pod too. The Brazil plane crash. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I saw Even that. though probably not the best to have it in front of. Beauty Cinderella, best to have that combo. But anyway. Yeah, the video is pretty bad. I was watching it on the plane. Mr. Trump was expected to keep his rally schedule on Friday. His plan, board, boarding yeah. a smaller plane to compete the journey, complete the journey. Mr. Brown denied on Thursday that he had ever flown in a helicopter with Mr. Trump. It appeared Mr. Trump had made confused Willie Brown with Jerry Brown, the former governor of California, with whom Mr. Trump traveled by helicopter in 2018 while surveying wildfire damage in the state. But Jerry Brown, who left office in January 2019, said through a spokesman, there was no emergency landing and no discussion of Kamala Harris. Willie Brown, who was a boyfriend of Vice President Kamala Harris during the 1990s, 
knew Mr. Trump as a potential business associate during those years when Mr. Trump, then a New York developer, was working on new projects. A biography of Miss Harris, Kamala's Way in American Life, reported that Mr. Trump has sent his private plane for Mr. Brown and Miss Harris in 1994 to fly them from Boston to New York City. We have the flight records of the helicopter, Mr. Trump insisted Friday, saying the helicopter had landed in a field and indicating that he had intended to release the flight records before shouting that he was probably going to sue over the Times article. Oh, my God. It just... <laughs> when asked to produce the flight records, Mr. Trump responded mockingly, repeating the question in a sing-song voice. As of early Friday evening, he had not provided them. <laughs> Mr. Trump has a history of claiming he will provide evidence... Yes, <laughs> like his tax returns? Uh... <laughs> To back up his claims, but ultimately not doing so. He has also told the helicopter story before in his 2023 book, Letters to Trump, in which he published a book That's called crazy. Letters to Trump. I'm the number one glazer. I am the grade A glazer of Donald Trump, and I did not know he wrote a book, bro. That's crazy. In the book, Mr. Trump wrote, we actually had an emergency landing in a helicopter <laughs> together. It was a little scary for both of us, but thankfully we made it. Why would you lie about that? I don't know. It's such a weird thing. Cause he thinks to lie he's, about. Because he thinks he's cool. Makes like, him look to cool. To be in a helicopter, almost helicopter yeah. crash. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> answer this question, was Biden a good president? I mean, he, he was good on certain issues and really bad on others. And is. He's still alive. He's still the president. <laughs> I forget sometimes. Read my last message. Dude, what? I already ran to three minute average at the top of the hour, bro. Why are you, why are you guys like this? <laughs> Politics is back, though. I like that, like, Will's here, Marge is here, but, like, Cutie indicated that she is going to be late. Yeah. So I don't know why everyone's here at this time. I don't know. I don't think people understood when, when Cutie said... they. You guys made a decision to switch it up. Like I, I'm just saying, I, I just know that Cutie is going to be late as f Like, she won't be here for at least another hour, probably. Most likely. You didn't... I don't think you guys read what she said. She says she's done now with her uh, nail appointment. And she will be coming here after her nail appointment. You look good. <laughs> you look good. I'm you look, you look, did you get tan? Thanks. I got that island tan. God damn. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Politics. I've been watching Hassan lately. Yeah, he's back. I'm back that's watching you know. Hassan. Really? Yeah, that's how you know. That's how you know Hassan is back because I'm tuning at 11 a.m. I'm right on the. I'm right in that chat. That's, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Will looks like he's been on Survivor. I love the shirt too. You look good. Listen, are you? Uh, I know you're. You're kind of buying in a little bit on the walls hype. Yeah. Are you getting into football? Because I feel like that's going to be an integral part of the Dems pitch this season. Dude, he's a. He's a. He's got to he, be a Vikings he took fan. Him, he won the state championship, dude. He got he got a chip. He got a chip when two he, times. Yeah. yeah. No, I I not not football, but like uh, you know, who knows? Mm, who knows? Sorry, that's not gonna work for me because I've already planned something. Oh God. Okay. Mm, that's right. We're taking a train to San Francisco September fourth for my birthday, and we're watching San Francisco versus the Jets. Ooh. Fear and in San Francisco. Wait, baby. I love that. San Fran. Oh, yeah. I love San, San Francisco. San Fran, Fran, Fran. We're going to dodge human feces and we're going to watch football, baby. Bro, yeah. No, San Francisco is fixed now. It's good. It's good. There's no more. I heard you get to this. ride on a train and stream on a train? I like that. I don't know if I'll be able to do the train thing, but wait, I wrote I wrote a train recently. But I, I'm it's saying because like, I don't think I'll be able to. States. I don't think I'll no, be able to stream really it. Really beautiful. One. Oh, there's like not a, Amtrak. No, it's like a gorgeous, okay. scenic. They're saying Santa Clara. Yeah, I took I took an Amtrak train. It was it's it seemed like it was just covered in urine, <laughs> like <laughs> yes. all of all of the train, like everywhere I went, it was just it smelled like <laughs> it just smelled like pee everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's American public transit is is a bit of a mess. I, I did won't pay lie. six dollars for a business class seat, though. Wait, so what the f is going on? When is when is this rally supposed to start, Chad? When is Kamala coming up? <laughs> I want to watch Austin get libbed the f up. Oh, I'm so uh, excited. I'm missing stream tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I can end it right now. It's just I know that I knew that Cutie was gonna look at your screen. You literally have a rally up right now. No, I'm not going to watch it. When when Cutie's here, the moment that she gets here, we'll start the pod. Hi, Kaya. <gasps> oh. Yeah, chill, bro. It's not oh, happening yet. Oh. Uh.
Traitor. Yeah, no, bro. Woo! You can't. Yeah! You can't. Oh, my God. Look at that crowd. Show me that crowd again. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, the I'm crowd back, is baby. crazy. The crowd is actually. No, I'm back. I feel. Here, listen to this. Listen. Okay. What oh. about our queen? Oh, I love yeah. So much. I think he's been a, really a fantastic president yes. of the United States. Mm. So I really wanted him to make a decision of a better campaign. Mm. Because they were not facing the fact of what was happening. Just a little it, background. It was, it was, I've I never been pain. that impressed with his political operation. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I just have damn, Nancy. Uh, they won the White House. Bravo. Right? Mm -hmm. But <laughs> so my God concern damn. was this ain't happening. Dude, Jeez that's just Christ. crazy. She's going mask off. That's, but she's right, though. I know. She did do that, though. She, like. You've been popping off. And I think... And we it, have to make a decision mm -hmm. for us this to happen. And the president has to make the decision. <laughs> and it was close it in 2022 just say, after I, a global I won't say pandemic. Necessarily I knew and what like, I was doing at that time. I knew... Okay, first of all, you're you're literally now repeating my talking about was verbatim. You used to be like, I knew Biden was going to win from the jump. No, you're right. I'm the no, one I, who I, used to say... No, I, I've been... <laughs> look, I've slowly morphed into you. I, I'm the one who used to say, you are actually adopting a lot of my position. No, I, I really appreciate I, it. You know, I've, I've slowly... It took me a while, but I have slowly adopted... You know, I'm still not... I'm still a little bit more moderate on some things. Like, I do believe in the stock market. <laughs> um, But... Other than that, I think we align on most other things. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know. I have money there. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm. I'm sorry. I have money there. I'm gonna. Yeah, you're done. I, you're done. I know. You're I have money there, and I look. I don't know. I'm sorry. I know. I know. This is it comes to a shock. This, by the way, this is gonna cause Trump to kill himself. I'm not even kidding. I think there's a flag on the play here. Like. They should definitely. Wait, that's the that's the rally right oh, yeah, now. No, the the Paris Walls rally is insane right now, dude. There's I'm not been gonna so lie. Much pent up. I'm not oh, gonna God. lie, dude. This is like this is actually flag on the play. This is BM bad manners. This is a foul. This, this is a is red crazy. flag. Red card. Two two yellow cards equals one red card. <laughs> no shot. You can't do this, bro. He is going to die. <laughs> He's not gonna show up. I feel like I feel like he's just not going to show up to the rally, dude. Them's are griefing. Them's are griefing. This is really fucked up shit. I haven't seen this much energy out of Democrats <laughs> since Obama. Yeah, it seems. No, he's just not going to do rally, bro. He hasn't done a rally uh, in any battleground states. Yeah, and he chose to do it in Bozeman, in Montana. <sighs> Yeah. Okay. A safe Which is place. not a battleground state. No. And the rally is literally tiny. It is a tiny ass rally. And this is the one thing Wait, that is Donald this in Trump. Montana? Yeah. Oh my God. This is the one thing that like he has always had over. Oh my God. He, this is the one thing he's always maintained over <laughs> the Democrats. He is this is the one thing that he's always had over the Democrats is that like he has big ass rallies. Oh, that one was Phoenix. Sorry, that's not Montana. You know, you know what's crazy though is the Trump's the, last rally in Phoenix versus the Harris Walls rally in Phoenix tonight. Sorry. It's it's funny because the, the first, Montana you want to see the Montana one? Yeah. The first rally that they had in Philadelphia, they were trying the Republicans were trying to say that the only reason why the crowd was big was because Meg the Stallion was there. And Yeah, and then they try to say that about Eau Claire, where yeah. they said in, where they said in Eau Claire, it was because of Bon Iver. And what? that's the reason why, like, everyone was there. But really? If well, you want to see, I mean, Vance did this while, you know, Kamala was doing that, oh which was God, crazy. That's crazy. Um, but that's just Vance, right? God, he's it's like Trump versus loser. Trump is important. This is biggest compared to Clinton and Obama. This could be the largest Democratic rally in Arizona history for Harris Walls tonight. In January 8th, ahead of the Dem primary, Obama gathered around 12,000 in... 16 Clinton gathered 10,000. Not much to speak uh, of for Dems before that. Damn. This is awesome. I'm going to move to a swing state. You are how libbed up I am. I'm going to move to the swing state that needs me, and I'm going to register as a citizen of that particular state to vote. So now, Bon, Bone, Eve, Air. Yeah, it is hard, man. Shut the f 
fuck up. There's like 11 different pronunciations of it in the chat. I don't <sighs> care, man. I'm sorry. No disrespect to the guy. But when's the last time he had an album? I'll, God damn, I'll dude. Be, I'll be honest. I don't even know who that is. Holy fuck. Dude, oh my god, every time I bring this up, there's so many people being like, it's bone apple tea. I don't know, man. Who is it? Is he's a he's a talented musician. No, I'm sure he's a talented musician. I just don't know. But it's like I probably know them if I just if I if I would hear their music. 2019? Sure. Last time you dropped the album was 2019? Shut the yeah. fuck up! I mean, I'm not saying their music sucks, I just don't even know them. And I don't I may have heard their songs before. They work with Taylor Swift, Austin. Okay, great. Oh, okay. There. Okay. You know what? Now I know them now. <laughs> Trump rally size for. Oh yeah, this is walking. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't started yet, but this is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> While Kamala Harris has filled up her venue, Bone so, Bon Ever. So I've got a, I've got a question. I'm here to learn. I've got a question. So in 2020 and 2016, they underestimated Trump's numbers in the polls. But now that there is a enthusiasm, the, the Democrats have closed the enthusiasm gap and maybe passed the Republicans uh, in the in the in, in enthusiasm. They have, they have passed, so they passed them in, in enthusiasm. Will that Look at make my the polls Look at my goat. accurate? Polls were already accurate. Twenty twenty polls were accurate. The only time polls weren't accurate is twenty sixteen. Okay. Yes. I, I actually love this man. Can you turn it up? Yeah! Okay, bro, you're yelling so much. Little, dial it back a little bit, please. Yeah. Wow. Well, they're going to say shit about the border. It's going to kill a me. Few people showed up in Philadelphia the other night. <laughs> and then 10,000 plus walked into a field in western Wisconsin. And then on Wednesday, <laughs> the largest crowd of the campaign showed up in Detroit, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. <laughs> but Arizona just couldn't leave it alone, could you? <laughs> I love how he's talking about the crowds because wow. Trump is going to be steaming. Be so mad. It's going to make him so mad. You know, it's not as if anybody cares about crowd sizes or anything. <laughs> <laughs> See, he knows. Wow. Smart. Let me begin. Let me begin by giving a few thanks to some people here and a few uh, dear folks to us. First of all, I want to thank Arizona for sharing Senator Mark Kelly and Gabby Giffords with the rest of the country. <laughs> Gabby was a classmate of mine in 06, and they are both national treasures. Thank you, Arizona. Also had the privilege of serving with uh, with Congressman Gallego, and I'll have to tell you, <laughs> he was an amazing colleague, and I have to tell you, he's going to be an amazing senator. But we get a, we, we get. I still can't believe Kamala we, we Harris picked them. I can't believe it. You thought she was going to pick Shapiro. Going to be a United States senator. Yeah. You thought she was going to pick Shapiro. Yeah. To all the local elected officials, thank you. But the most important thank you to each and every one of you. Look, you took time out of your busy lives. You found babysitters. You took time off work. You walked for miles. And look, I'm a Minnesotan. I'm like a damn snowman. I'm melting here. <laughs> we, we walk on water half the year in Minnesota. It's so damn cold. But, uh, <laughs> but not you. You came. And you came into this space with neighbors. You're crazy. You're ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and you came here for one beautiful, simple reason. You love this democracy. I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Well, I couldn't be prouder to stand with you, and I couldn't be prouder to be on this ticket.
You know what's at the end of this little journey? Kamala Harris as the next president of the United States. This is a leader who wakes up every day on the side of the American people. Oh, this yeah. is, she will take on the predators. She will take on the fraudsters. She will take on the transnational gangs. And she will stand up to the corporate interests and put middle America first. And she's been effective. She's been willing to reach across the aisle no matter what just to make sure it improves people's lives. And I'll have to tell you, I know a little something about commitment to people. Some of you heard this. I was born in a small town in Nebraska. We talk about small towns. These are those Nebraskans that moved out here for the winter, so. <laughs> but look, small town was all about community. My mom and dad, they taught us to show some care to your neighbors, show some generosity, work towards a common good, be a decent human being to your neighbors. I like how he mixes it up a little bit, not word for word. My dad, and some of you know him in here, you had him, a chain-smoking Korean War era veteran, cared about his community, but two days after I turned 17, he took me down to join the Army National Guard. And for 24 years, I proudly wore that uniform. I'm proud of that service, but what my nation gave my dad and millions of others and me was an opportunity to use the GI Bill to get a college education. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My dad was a teacher. My brothers and sisters and I... My brothers and sisters and I all became teachers. Mm. And we married teachers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I had the privilege of teaching high school social studies for 20 years. And you might have heard, coaching a state championship football team. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> coach, 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 coach. Now, if the Vikings could just win. Yeah, be... thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, God. If I wasn't voting for him before, I mean, it's. That works better near Green Bay. I may vote I'll twice. You, so, uh, if I can. I'm just kidding. That's look, a joke. It was my students. Can't do that. It was my students. It's illegal who and impossible. Me to run. Okay. They saw in me what I hope to instill in them a commitment to a common good. Hmm. The belief, the true belief that one person, one of us in here, can make a difference in somebody's life. Where's Kamala? Oh, California. I, w I wasn't very politically and savvy Canada. because I did not oh. know it when I decided to run for Congress that there had been one other Democrat elected in that district since 1892. But my neighbors believed and they graced me with an opportunity to serve them in the United States Congress for 12 years. And I'm proud of the work I did as ranking member on the Veterans Affairs Committee, working on the Agriculture Committee. All right, attack Trump. And I worked hand in hand with Republicans to make sure that we were crafting legislation that improved the lives of veterans and people all across this country. Mm. I learned how to compromise without compromising my values. And as governor of the great state of Minnesota, I brought all of those experiences, I brought all of those experiences to the challenges facing the state of Minnesota. This idea about a common good, this idea about something bigger than ourselves, this idea of kindness, generosity, and compassion, that this building, which I have been told, by the way, might be the largest political gathering in the history of Arizona. Wow. Oh, Trump's going to hate that so much. I think, it's, I think it's safe to say Donald Trump sees the world a little differently than we do. First and foremost, and be very clear about this, 
Mm. He doesn't know the first thing about service. Mm -mm. It's hard to provide service when you're too busy serving only yourself. Again and again and again, Donald Trump weakens our country to strengthen his own hands. You've watched him mock our laws. You watched him sow chaos and division at every opportunity. And that's to say nothing of his record as president. As governors, as governors, he froze during COVID and pitted us in a hunger game against our neighbors to try and find basic life-saving needs. And because of him, our neighbors died. Mm. By failing to address COVID, he drove the economy into the ground. And let's be very clear. The statistics and the facts are clear about this. Violent crime was up under Donald Trump. And we don't even have to count his crimes in that to make it up. So, <laughs> that's just, you, it is the first time you're hearing uh, that's, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't heard that line. That's awesome. Oh, that's so good. Wow. Look. He's so good at oh. Those. Oh my God. Oh my God. That, yet, beat that's the hell awesome. out of him at the ballot box. Beat the hell out of him. Yeah, the beat the hell out of him. I want to go vote now. <laughs> Look, you and I, especially the gray hairs in the crowd, we know, we know our relatives. Republicans used to be the people talking about freedom. Mm. Not this group. When they talk about freedom, it means that the government should be. Oh, I skipped it to made it live. In Minnesota, we respect our neighbors and the personal choices they make. Uh -huh. We may, we maybe wouldn't make the same choices, but we respect them. And I know in Minnesota and in Arizona and places across this country, you know what makes society work best is when you learn a golden rule: mind your own damn business. That's right. That's such business. a great way to talk well, about trans issues, dude. Yeah, and Mo like medical decisions that are deeply personal. Yeah, mind your own business. Like get your government hands uh, I off I don't need my you body. Me what books yeah. to read. I don't need you telling me about what religion we worship. And I sure the heck don't need you to tell me about my family. Thank you. It's it's a phenomenal well, this, way. This one's personal for me. It is this the Hasanabi method. For the record, this is how I care. this is how I try to neutralize these transphobic arguments all the time. I, my wife of 30 years, because yes, we share family values. We just make our own damn choices about our family. Do you think they address Gaza in Arizona? F no. But when we wanted to have children, we went through years of fertility treatment, and I remember it was like it was yesterday, just waiting for good news, and then the phone would ring and you would be tensed up. And then you would hear that the treatments had failed. It was a, it would blot out the sun that you just wanted something so beautiful and so simple to have a child. And then one day, and it wasn't by chance when that news came and we welcomed our daughter into the world. We named her hope. We named her hope. This, this, this guy's story is incredible. Yeah, no, he's got it. He's incredible. got it all. Like, imagine, he had no aspirations for any of this, and he, oh, he's so sweet, and now he's, imagine, this guy is now vice, vice president crying, of the United you're States. Crying, so. <laughs> That's crazy. When Vice President Harris and I talk about freedom, we're very clear. We mean the freedom to make your own healthcare decisions. <laughs> and for all of our children to be free to go to school, without worrying they'll be shot dead in their classroom. <laughs> and in Minnesota, believe me, we believe in the Second Amendment, but we also believe in common sense gun violence laws. Mm -hmm. I remind my colleagues when I was in Congress, Ruben could tell this story, for three years in a row I was the top gun in the congressional trap shoot, so we can shoot better than them too, just by the way. So. <laughs> when Vice President Harris he moved that around his speech freedom is his earlier run, which is good. The middle class. <laughs> Not crippling student loan debt. Mm -hmm. 
And this building and what we believe in, we are people that settle our political differences, not through violence, but through voting. He ain't a better shot than Dick Cheney. He's demonstrably a better shot. He shot no one in the face as far as we yeah, know. What the With a, with a shotgun. Too. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to nut again. Tim Walton's net worth is less Imagine. than the average American. That's crazy. It's so sick. Vote, and he doesn't own any stocks. I know. Bro. I know. It's so and cool. I know. And was like anti. And let's just go ahead and not go through this thing that it's so close. Let's just win big, people. Let's just win big. He was the best. He was the best shot in Congress when he was in Congress. Yeah. That's our choice. How often, how often you get a choice so simple that this is going to decide the direction of our country? Yeah. We have 87 days to decide the direction we're going to go. And I've been Why saying Why is it so cool that he's not rich? For 87 days. <laughs> a <Anything>. politician? <laughs> Did you, and my mantra like, is... And work look, it backwards, it Chatter. About Think about that. Five days. We'll sleep when we're dead. We'll sleep when we're dead. Not now. Not now. Look, you know it, and I know it, but I think we need to be reminded. You know exactly what Donald Trump's plans are. You know which direction he's taking us. Don't believe this guy. Don't believe... I, that's like, listen, no one in here believes this guy. So anyway, <laughs> but don't believe it when he's playing dumb about this Project 2025. Oh. He knows exactly what it'll do. They, are not playing. they wrote their plan out. But just like they're getting arrogant about it, they're saying the quiet stuff out loud. It'll take our freedoms. It'll yep. rig the economy for the super rich. Yep. It'll underfund veterans. And mm -hmm. you know that if he goes back again, he's not only going to let go where he left off, it is going to be much, much, much worse. Also, he's so like... Look, it's a new speech Rising for him. Costs, yeah. Pulling health care from us. You he freestyles. He doesn't tell a prompt. Yeah. I know I'm preaching to the choir. I need Harris needs to mix it up a little bit. Choir. I think uh, I saw her speak to the union, the auto union, and I thought she was much more effective in a smaller venue. But practice is over, people. The choir needs to sing. The choir needs to sing. Trump's not fighting for your family. He doesn't give a damn. And his running mate shares the same dangerous, twisted, backward agenda. Oh, yeah. Couch. Yeah. Make the couch joke. Every, every kid, every kid in my class of 25 studied at Yale, had their career funded by Silicon Valley billionaires, and then writes a book trashing the very people who raised you. I love that. No liberal has ever hit that line before him. It. It uh -huh. name, I really love that. Liberals love hillbilly elegy. Did you watch it? Uh -uh. That you will ever imagine. Yeah. You know it's um, true. He actually has the right take on hillbilly elegy, but unlike most liberals. News. We know the stakes. We know who they are. When they told us, we believe them. We know what's coming. But here's the big thing about it is. That's a reality that's not going to happen because the people in this building and millions across the country. This is a campaign about the future. We know what's there. We know it can come. We're not people who are afraid of the future. We shape the future. I think Trump's afraid to do a rally because he knows it won't be this hype. Kamala Harris believes in the freedom to make your own choices. She believes in the opportunity for every single person to enter the middle class. And she believes something so beautiful. She believes in the promise of America. The promise of America. Is this Montana rally like campaign fundraising so or anything? Thank you, Madam Vice President, for the trust you've placed in me. Like, what's and I the want benefit to say there? say something else that this incredible leader, this incredible woman has brought to this fight. She, she has brought back compassion and decency and humor and joy to our politics. He's a really good marketer, natural. Mm -hmm. so like Arizona, even the joy thing. Arizona, bring that joy with you. 
bring those smiles. The joy thing is a new line from Walls as well. And it directly is about Kamala Harris laughing all the time. Mm -hmm. It's another way to like try to effectively neutralize. Yeah, he wasn't using a teleprompter. Okay, Austin, you're clapping in my ear, bro. <laughs> hey, uh, I just wanted to stand for the he, next he president uses, of the United States. She almost tripped. He uses the, the joy thing as a way to like cleverly neutralize the whole like Kamala is goofy for laughing all the time shit. All, by the way, you said, how is he so energetic as a senior? Bro, he's 16. They're the same age. <laughs> they're the same age, bro. The value of him as a co-campaigner and direct opener for Kamala far outweighs whatever detriments he brings from Oppo research, which is bad faith anyways. No, his Oppo is, is marginal. It's like nothing. There she is. He has something that's very important. Good Chris evening. He has something that's very important. He looks genuine and he has charisma. And when you're genuine and have charisma, people won't believe all the oppo, even if it's real. With Donald Trump, people people saw him as a real guy. He was he was honestly dishonest, which was very refreshing for a lot of people who also shared a similar frustration with the way things were going. Trump was able to capitalize on that anger and resentment and redirect it to enemies that he had personally. So for that reason, a lot of people don't believe all the awful shit about Donald Trump because they found him to be charismatic. Obama uh, is the same situation. Obama's very charismatic. He came across as authentic. And that's why whenever I tell Austin about shit that Obama did, he doesn't believe me. And he's like, I don't care. I still like him. I still don't believe Tim you. Tim Walls has that capacity as well. So a lot of that oppa won't stick on him regardless. <laughs> Oh yes, Madam Madam President. We're gonna do this. Good evening. Good thank evening. You. Thank you all. Thank you. C can we hear it for Tim Walls? She's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's good to be back in Arizona. Good evening, everyone. Okay. My goodness thank you all so very much oh it is good to be back let me just say let me let me just start by thanking everyone who is here thank you all so very much all of you. we're gonna do this we are going to do this yeah ain't nobody happy to be back in arizona i agree you know you know she's a liar here, including congressman greg stanton I don't think protesters will hit this one. It's Your Arizona. The crowd is Senator too big to control, but I don't think there's like a big enough momentum or mobilization for pro-Palestine protests in Arizona. And my dear friend, United States Senator Mark Kelly. And let me just say, as Arizona knows, Mark is an extraordinary leader who has dedicated his life to the service of our nation as a fighter pilot, as an astronaut, and as a member of the United States Congress, and he has given so much to our country. He always fights for the people of Arizona, and I am so grateful Except for, the Pro for your friendship and your leadership. So, why do you hate Mark Kelly? I already told you. Pretty and conservative the on the border, good on gun issues, obviously, especially because of his wife. Cool back, cool backstory, anti-union, I'm done, I'm out. They're also an Come on, bro. You got walls. Today. Remember, he was also clapping like a seal for Benjamin Netanyahu, which is another and issue. Arizona but co-chair of Republicans for Harris Mayor John Giles. <laughs> so today, I also bring greetings from our incredible president, Joe Biden. No, 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 no. Just don't talk about him. We don't need to. I don't, I, I, I don't think I know, but it's just like I love, you know, look, thank you, Joe. It, we don't need to. I agree with you, though. But like, it, it doesn't. There's not there's nothing to gain by this. There's not like a coalition of voters that are like, mention Joe or we won't vote for you. And I know we're we sad he's not running. Grateful for his lifetime of service to our nation. You know, we thank Joe Biden each and every day. Most of us didn't want him to keep running and all he has done and all he has yet to do. Let us thank him Just, always. Just don't talk about him. And why is he doing interviews? Just don't do anything. 
Just sit behind, just don't, so just hide. Arizona, this has been a big week. Because Republicans would be wasting On their Monday, time to go after Joe I Biden. He's not running. The Democratic just hide. For president of the United you speak at the convention. Surely he won't, right? I don't know. Surely he, oh, surely he won't speak at the convention. I mean, and he can't, Tuesday, uh, he might. I oh, God. It's fine, bro. Governor Tim Wall. And as you all just heard, Tim has a great record as governor of the great state of Minnesota. And to those who know him best, Tim goes by a few more titles besides governor. To his is that wife, is that cutie? Gwen. No. Oh, she's doing, she's doing the same dull speech though. Like it's not gonna hit the same if Waltz is switching it up every time. You know what I'm saying? So, thank you. So Tim. I know it's Tim a stump speech, bro. By, we know him by governor, but you'll soon get to know. Wait, those his are protesters. Gwen, to whom? You know what? Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Hold this is on. big. This is big. Hold on. She's got a Here's the thing. We are all in here together. I'm, I'm told an extraordinary number of folks who are here together because we love our country. We're here to fight for our democracy. Which includes respecting the voices that I think Good. that we are hearing from. And let me just say this on topic of what I think I'm hearing over there. Let me just speak to that for a moment and then I'm going to get back to the business at hand. It's going to be easier to pass on. Yeah, it's not, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. So let me say, I have been clear. Now is the time to get a ceasefire deal and get the hostage deal done. Weapons transfers. Weapons. Now is the time. Benjamin and Yahoo's and the not collaborating. And I are working around the clock every day to get that ceasefire deal done and bring the hostages home. Okay, that's good. So I respect your voices, but we are here to now talk about this race in 2024. This is the race in 2024. It's not just a, it's better response than last time. It's better response than last time. It's not gonna be enough. People are gonna get annoyed. So, Tim Waltz, so let's just say this. Besides being I think she did a much better job, though. I've come to learn yeah, of course, Tim she didn't Waltz, say, I'm speaking, shut the up. You want Trump to win? He's yeah. an extraordinary person. <sighs> She's I mean, still, known by many titles. Yeah, to his it's, wife, it's Gwen, still bad. People husband, are still going to protest her. To um, his kids, Hope and She Gus, went halfway. Hey, next dad, time there's an even bigger crowd, she'll go full way, maybe. Who knows? Minnesota for 12 years. Pressure's he good. Was congressman. To his former high school students. You mean not enough for Mr. you? Walsh. Yeah, it's not just for me, big dog. You think Kamala and to Harris his is responding to me? high school football players, he was coach. But she had that prepared, though. And in 88 days, the nation will know Coach Walls by a new title. Rallies, protesters to rallies. So listen, listen, guys, guys. So it's so good to be back in Arizona, and I thank you all for turning out today. This is an extraordinary, extraordinary. Literally, why she said that POTUS tweeted this? And Arizona, I'll also this, say this, as exciting as this is, we cannot lose sight of- Bro, I, I didn't even pull this out. They, they said yes to a $6.5 billion, I believe, uh, weapons transfer. Like, normie liberals will go, and oh, this is great. What else do you this want? This is going to be hard work, but I know we like hard work. Hard work is good work for all of us. Or $3.5 billion. Is good work. And we will do it with joy. <laughs> And I know we are all clear about what we are up against. As many of you know, before I was elected vice president, sorry, it's six point five thousand munitions to Israel. Before that, before that, this I is was from an today, elected Chad. attorney general, and before that, an elected district attorney. <laughs> and 
And before that, I was a courtroom prosecutor. So I took on... No, the number is 3.5 billion. Shut up. Perpetrators of all kinds. I got the number wrong. Do you think it's she... this and this. Predators who abused women. Fraudsters who ripped off consumers. Scammers who broke the rules. She could easily mix gain. this up by talking about Trump and what he did. So specifically. Arizona. Hear this when I say. Hear me when I say. I know Donald Trump's type. I know Donald Trump's type. <laughs> In fact, I've been dealing with people like him my entire career. I don't get to just criticize For Netanyahu example, or Israel's actions. Anything General of that attitude would be better than, oh, I hear you I and I'm trying to get a ceasefire. Yeah. took on one of our country's largest for-profit colleges that scammed students. Well, Donald Trump ran a for-profit college that scammed students. As a, press, as a prosecutor, I specialized in cases of sexual abuse. Well, Donald Trump was found liable for... An American citizen was reportedly abuse. shot by the Israeli military today while dispersing from a weekly demonstration against an illegal settlement as in Beta. As general, I held... The Wall IDF Street also blocked his ambulance from transporting him to a hospital. Well, Donald Trump was just found guilty of fraud. 34 counts. So all of this... Yeah, the courts will deal with that. We're going to win in November. <laughs> We're going to win in November. We'll handle that, too. So, but all of this is to say, in this campaign, I will proudly put my record against his every day of the week. But make no mistake, that being said, our campaign is not just about us versus Donald Trump. It is about, and I love you both, our campaign, our campaign, is about two different visions for our nation. One, ours, focused on the future. The other, focused on the past. And Arizona, we, we fight for the future. A future with affordable health care, affordable child care, and paid leave. A future where we build a broad-based economy where every American has an opportunity to own a home, to start a business, to build wealth. Here with us today, I know we have a number of Native leaders. And as President, I will tell you, I will always honor tribal sovereignty and respect tribal self-determination and fight for a future where every Native person can realize their aspirations and every Native community is a place of opportunity. We here, we believe in a future where we lower the cost of living for America's families. So that they have the chance not just to get by, but to get ahead. Because look, while our economy is doing well by many measures, prices for everyday things like groceries are still too high. You know it and I know it. When I was Attorney General, I went after price-fixing schemes. And when I am president, I will continue that work to bring down prices. I will take on, I will take on big corporations that engage in illegal price gouging. I will take on corporate landlords that unfairly raise rents on working families. Take on Big Pharma and cap the cost of prescription drugs for all Americans. And all of this is to say, unlike Donald Trump, I will always 
put the middle class and working families first. This is huge. Because you see, Coach Walls and I know the middle class built the United States of America. And when the middle class is strong, America is strong. Beauty here. And while we work to move nope. our nation forward, look, Donald Trump, be very clear, intends to move us backward. Just look. And we're not going back. <laughs> Oh, she's here. She yeah. is? Oh. But just look. Look, look okay, at Okay, guys, you know, I gotta go. About it. Look at his Project 2025 agenda. I love you all. I have to shoot the podcast, okay? It's I have to shoot the podcast, so I gotta go. I can't believe they put that thing in writing. But I'm way. glad that we saw the Palestine part of the equation. But when you look at it, when you read it, you None of this see. affects you or Project your rich friends. Y'all are quiet because none of this affects you. Man, shut the... Shut your bitch ass up, dude. I'm an advocate for the working class when I was broke and also when I'm wealthy. Suck my dick, dumbass. None of this affects you. Anyway, I'll talk more about this tomorrow. I love you all. I will obviously, I'll see you tomorrow. We got a lot to cover. I didn't even get to half the shit that I wanted to cover today, but uh, I'm going to shoot the Fear and Podcast right now.